Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn down the drain where we have loads of beehives made and they're all underwater and that's a problem but more importantly next to the beehives you can just about see them in the water we have the kaboomies yes 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 we have made loads of dynamite we have plastered it all in here it is all fantastic it is all wonderful so it is all explosion time let's go I don't think I'm ever going to get bored of explosions in Timberborn. I think they're just, they're just, they're fantastic. They're really good. They're really good. Uh, and uh, they do wonderful things to the water. We wasn't really close enough to see it, but they do, they do wonderful ripple stuff to the water, which is quite cool. And they explode next to beavers and don't hurt them, which is awesome. Okay. So I built an area out here, as you can see, um, because um, I've been looking at different things. I've been looking at things. Um, I have been so obsessed with this underground pipe here putting this one in here and was going to put it in like this so it would go in here um, and it would pump the water out and into the system and, and I, I was like yes we can do that and we'll run power in and I kind of ignored the other pipes but I've looked it into these pipes here um, and I think we're going to be okay because we can use this one providing it works the way I think it does uh, so these ones here look as if they drop water like takes water in and drops it at a high level and this one takes water in and drops it at a low level but they require power uh, that's no power needed it does not transfer this one does require power a little weird that the high one doesn't require power but the low one does but okay weird. um uh so yeah but um but i think we just want to unlock the first one let's unlock this one here and this one i believe we just put in here this one here like this and then we dam on top of them with uh, our. We can use the two one dams. Now, ironically, because I'm building at the bottom here, I could have actually used the uh, uh, three. And I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to. Am I going to do that? Do I want to build the three by threes on top of there to make it look the same way it should look with this here? I kind of think I want to. Actually, I kind of think I do. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Remove those. The place is flooded anyway. It's not. Yeah. You know, it's not like we're. Uh, uh, boop. Uh, what I want to do is I want to make sure we pick up these bits here. Okay. Oh, so I want to do that. Um, and what should happen is these will take water in here and output the water to the other side. But it shouldn't ever go above the level of the output. I believe. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it's wrong. Who knows? But yeah. Uh, and then we can put our water crops in the center here. And we can put whatever crops here and whatever crops here and everything will be awesome. The uh, the dome, the dome, uh, not dome. I, wasn't, I, I looked, I looked at building a dome. I honestly, looked at building like a dome over the top of this, like a not a dome, uh, um, yeah, a dome, but not a just a an archway over the top. But um, uh, but no, um, we're gonna change up the way the uh, ladders are gonna go into here because I was gonna have the ladders here, which is where our um, platforms are gonna be, and that's not really ideal uh, it'd work it'd absolutely work but it's not ideal we don't need that so um what i'm doing is i want to put in where are you you're there so i'm putting another one of you here and then just go every two and it should all play out anyway pretty well um he says hopefully not actually have checked it. Oh yes, yes, it would. So the last one will go there, and then that'll be fine. Okay, so boom. Uh, and then we rotate these round, and we put them over this side. Let's get those in. And uh, the reason I want to look at where these are going is because I want to figure out where I want to put the ladders. Uh, because oh no um, oh. I didn't know you could drag these. Okay, okay, so we could drag them as well. So, um, yeah. So, so we was going to put that as here and here, uh, but that would cause awkwardness for building these parts. So, 
Instead, if we move another out by one and put it here, uh, or more importantly, actually put it here. So we put another there. Sorry, let me pause the game for just a moment here because we've got beavers moving around doing stuff. So uh, we would put a ladder here. So I'm going to put in a, a platform for the ladder for the moment because I don't want to destroy the path. Um, and then we come over here and we put a ladder here. Right over this side and we put a ladder there. And we come in and put a ladder there. And my reasoning behind that is we can now put in the platform there um, as, as normal uh, and then on top of it we can put in the decoration uh, but we can put the two by ones we instead of putting those in like we was going to we can unlock the one and put that in there Ooh. and then the two by one goes this side um, and all that's doing is leaving a single gap for where the ladders are going to go. So if we remove that one, because we don't have anything here, and we get the ladders, um, and I don't know which way I'm going to put them in, uh, I think I'm just going to have them kind of facing the centre, if that makes sense. So we'll get rid of this one, and I'll have them facing this way. And then the ones over here will rotate 80 degrees, uh, 180 degrees, sorry, like that. Okay. Um, the ladders are facing the center. That way, when they come down them, it, it doesn't, it's not going to make a huge difference, but it just, it means it blocks one tile this direction. Uh, and so by doing that, it means that you've, you've only got a little bit in here compared to the distance that way. So it's the same distance from there to here, but this ladder and this ladder both cover the center, whereas this one only covers that side. So it means it just, it just reaches out further. That's what I'm trying to say, reach out a bit further. Um, so yeah, so we can do that. And then on top, it will look like everything's fine. And we'll just have these uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes for the beavers to come down and do their thing. So yeah, I think I think that'll work. I'm going to put platforms in all the way along here. Like this. Oop. With a path crossing like this. Okay, so the water can get through. Uh, and then beavers can use the platforms to get down to the bottom area anyway. So that's fine. And they can use the ones here to get down to that one. So that'll be fine. Okay, let's put the uh, ladders in here. So yeah, again, facing this way. Then you will be facing that way. In fact, you know what? Let's just do this, okay? We'll just literally go, hey, would that one be a high priority? We want the bottom ones to be high priority uh, because we need um, uh, we need the path reconnected. So, so yeah. um, and then we go back to doing the normal uh, two by one there and three by one there. And it looks and it works and it's all fine. And then these ones are all the same and, and everything will be awesome. We could put another ladder here as well if we wanted to. Uh, which I might actually do as well and just have a two come off the edge rather than rather than a three in fact yeah we'll, we'll do that as well so not there not there um, more access is better <laughs> more is better and again I'm going to make these the high priority so that we can build our path back here so yeah there we are awesome okay okay and then I need to put in the rest of this all along here and i, I, I will do that i will do that you, you don't need to see me uh putting all the uh the, the staircases and things in because uh it's just going to be time consuming to put it all in but we do need to get this built here so how about we uh that uh, should be fine just just go and build oh um make that a priority and make that a priority uh, I'm not too fussed about the centre bit. I think that would be okay, actually. Because mm. I want to get out there to build these. So we kind of need to get in here and do a path going up to them. So mm. Either way, I want to make those low priority. I want to make all of these low priority. We don't want to build the uh, 
the support structures just yet. We don't need them. We just don't need them. So, okay. And we'll let that build. We'll let it do its thing. So we'll unpause the game. We'll let it do its thing. And then I'm going to ask a question. I should have asked this question at the start of the episode because it would have made more sense. But, okay. Here. Right here. Right here. Um, paper. Um, I've done the maths on the paper. And yes, you can run six big exposure factories off of five paper mills. Uh, these produce 6.25 paper an hour, and these want six paper an hour. So we've got a quarter of a page every hour being made, which means it will take like three days to save up enough to make a beehive. So uh, we need more paper. I know that. That's fine. We'll put something behind it. That might be a problem. However, metal. Metal is going to become a problem for us. Um, we, we can mine it out. It just takes time. That's fine. What I want to ask is when we get bots i'll leave this for when the bots are made so we can fill it with bots there would anyone be opposed to me cheating in because with the development console you can build things you can't do normally so we're going to build in and down here there is a button called map editor and we can put in an underground mine would anyone be opposed to me putting in a second mine probably in this corner here or maybe just a there um, and having two mines running or maybe four mines running we, we, we could build four mines one two three and four and we just move that out to somewhere else because it can become scrap one one of these down here can become scrap or something i don't know we can figure out something but um and we'll just so we can get more in so we can get goods in so we can get everything running and everything going beautifully i want big mechanical stuff happening and just that would, so would anyone be opposed to that to us running uh, a little bit of a cheating and putting on the ground mines this tool used to say you couldn't do that um don't use this to place it now it doesn't say that so i think it'll work i don't see a reason why it shouldn't work um also just as a little bit of a thing that i noticed in the dev tools uh under paths there's a diagonal path look at this look at this look look you uh you put it in here and then you rotate it and then you put it in between or i'll do i'll do the wrong side and, and look Look, you get a diagonal path. Um, yeah, um, it does say uh, paths go in diagonal direction uh, and levees and levees. Path to go diagonal on direction and levees. Takes no less passing length than normal road, but looks better. right i don't know whether that is a, a, a it says dev tool but i don't know whether that's um a modded thing um it might be a modded a modded path for the levies i don't know but um uh, i saw that and I'm like, mm, mm, that looks interesting we're not going to use it because um uh, i don't know how it works properly so yeah but um diagonal paths would be cool would be really cool imagine imagine instead of clicking and doing that um uh you get you get um instead of four ways of access you get eight ways of access that would be cool that i'd like that i'd like that a lot i think so it might be a dev tool with the uh the uh the damn mod actually now i think about it now i just read it and i've looked at it i think it might be for these diagonal i don't know i don't know either way would you be all right with us putting in more mines and having like four mines running and just going for that i will wait for bots though we'll, we'll wait for the bots before we do anything like that so we've got bots to to mine um so yeah uh, we do have 138 metal blocks, so we could possibly start working on bots if I unlock three of these. Uh, what do we need here? 15, 15, 15. Yeah, we could we could absolutely unlock three of these. We do need to get one of these catalyst ones, so I'd have to start from this side. Um, but we need... Um, no, you don't want us... Biofuel? Do they? I, th I think their bots require biofuel to run, don't they? I can't remember. It's been a long time since I made bots for the for the effect house, so um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, let's um, let's get this done. Let's get done. Where, where are you going? You are starving. Why are you starving? I think you're going because I actually up the uh, the no the beehives. Oh, you're coming to build these, aren't you? Yeah okay okay well that's fine that's fine you you come and build those uh, in fact what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this be a not so super high priority so you build these ones this side first please 
Um, and then I would very much like for you to build this because we need to get into here. So can you build that one, that one, that one, and then we can put a path in up to here. And then they should be able to get access to all of these. So, yeah. Okay. Hopefully I don't need to get to the other side of these. Anyway, let's uh, let them build this and we shall be right back. That took a while. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And mainly because um, these required scrap. So we were showing the scrap. Uh, I'm sorry. We weren't getting the scrap because my wood workshops were disabled. So therefore the mine wasn't working. So uh, they're now on. These are now off. And everything's awesome and working and wonderful. And there is much rejoicing. Um, this is working exactly as I thought it would. Look at this. Look, look you can, you basically, you take, it takes water in from here and can be completely submerged and put it out to only the level that you're at. So it works exactly how I want it. And it's only one way, which means if we ever had a drought outside here, it would not let the water go back out yet. So yeah, I, I really like that. That's really good. So we have, we have this here. Uh, we have, as you can see, lots of construction going on. There is a lot of construction going on because if I bring up any this, you can see, look at this beautiful box. We do want to put some glass windows in the end. Um, but yeah, uh, um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if we go down uh, and down again, there you go. So we've got all those in place there. We come down again. Um, these are being built. That's fine. We come down again. That's there. Um, and that's it. Um, uh, the weird thing is that it casts shadows. The, the things cast shadows, even if they're not there. So you can see this cast shadows here, even if they're being hidden right now. But if I cancel this building, it becomes brighter because uh, it's not been built yet. The uh, the things haven't been built yet. So so the uh, the build things show shadows. So it's always going to be in darkness in here, which we knew. Apart from the ends are going to get a little window, little lights coming in. Um, however, it's not really going to make any difference because plants do not need sunlight to work. So, yeah. Uh, I don't want to put any crops in yet because you'll start planting them. I kind of want to leave that. I, I kind of want to get it all sort of in, in one go. You can't reach anywhere, so I might remove you um food's okay I'm remember, just just so you can't build over here so you can't uh, plant over here and then we can put all the food in um and then we'll put the farms on top and then we'll just get it all going so, um, i think yeah I think we'll, we'll do that at later that's fine that's not a problem so yeah okay okay um medicine is also something that's a little bit uh yeah um Medicine, I don't seem to be able to keep up with the medicine. So we might need another healer or possibly medicine storage. No, I don't think so. We've got 22 injured beavers and we've only got like 12 beds anyway. So, um, yeah, so um, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We've got 32 jobs unemployed, so it's not like we're struggling for that. Uh, that's because I turned on some more houses. I actually enabled some more houses. So we had uh, more beavers because we were getting so, so many injuries. Um, I think we went up to like 31 injured beavers, so, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, okay, so, this project is a go. Um, let's do that, so this is going to be like that. Uh, once we put the crops in, we shouldn't ever need to go in here again, so I shouldn't have to come down here, but we can. We can use this to come down and have a look and see, so, um, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, what they should do as well is, based on the priorities I've got, uh, they should, um, oh, I missed some. I very clearly missed some. Uh, they should build the ladders first. Yep, build all the tops of the ladders first. And then once they build the ladders, they will then build the rest of the stuff. All the rest is low priority. Because in case I wanted to build something else somewhere else. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Happy. Happy, happy, happy. There were just two things. Uh, one was obviously the iron, which I discussed. The other one was um, I forgot about the water. Uh, I was so wrapped up in trying to get something sorted. I didn't. I, we haven't built any water things in here. We haven't done any uh, 
I need to put some water pumps in here somewhere, but I don't know how to do this because um, I can't put them there and then on the other side because there's not enough space. I need I need seven tiles in order to put um, these in. One here, one there, um, and I can't put them that way because if I put one in there, I can't put one that side. So. I think what we're going to do is we're going to have just pumps on one side and then maybe storage the other side and then vice versa. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. But, nah, that's all in the future. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, how will our power do? Uh, go through daytime. Get everyone working. Get everyone running. How's our power going? We're good. We're good. Oh, uh, oh, 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 2,900. Oh, and most of these people, a lot of these are disabled right now. Hmm, maybe we're not so good. Hmm, <laughs> okay. We might just get the more uh, more parables in as well. Let's uh, let's do that. And I think we'll leave this one here and uh, we shall return uh, next time. And uh, I think there's going to be a fair gap in between this episode and the next episode because I'm going to wait for this to build. Um, okay, I also need to build this here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wait for this to build. So I'm going to just sit back, relax, and watch it go. Um, and maybe I will run it on a higher speed, because uh, in the development tools you can actually run. Uh, there is 30 speed and 99 speed. 99 speed I'm going to avoid with this many beavers. Um, when you get over a certain amount of beavers the 99 speed tends to hiccup in places and i've seen beavers starve to death when there's ample food around so uh, a 30 speed is fine Th look at this 30 speed the beavers can run around do the things everything's fine so so we can get this built a lot quicker for me for you obviously it'll just be the start of the next episode so thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this one and i hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun